Hi everyone, welcome. Uh, so today we are going to talk about how did I crack my Certified Solution Architect exam. So let's get started. So the way I approached, uh, there's like seven steps. Like I'll try to summarize whatever things I've done in seven steps. It could be more than that but uh, just trying to you know put it in a words that what how exactly we can plan uh, going for the preparation for the solution architect so first thing which i'll say it's very basic it's uh, get enrolled in any of the online courses available it could be a cloud guru it could be dojo i'll put the link in the description box uh, for some of the relevant courses uh, so feel free to go for it personally i took a cloud guru because I reached out to a lot of people and um, I think it's good if you want to have just a basic understanding about uh, the how cloud infrastructure works and uh, you know just to have kind of a preliminary kind of a preparation. Second uh, I'll talk about is it's like it's a contradiction to what I've said in the first point take these courses as a, as a, as a like a starting tool but don't just totally rely on it uh, try digging up as much as you can like try going for the FAQs there yeah, so when you start studying AWS when you start studying when you complete the entire course by a cloud guru or anything else uh, there would be a lot of services which you'll will which you'll encounter there would be S3s and VPCs uh, cloud front so you name it they have it like there are so many things in there so go through each or each and every FAQs you don't need to mug it up each and everything but it's good to have that kind of an understanding okay in a real world scenario it's not just an exam right it's something you're aspiring to be like if you're aspiring to be a solution architect you need to know how world is uh, from aws point of view so it would be a good way to understand what are the different services how are they built how are they how are you know people are actually using it and what are the challenges they are facing along with that i'll suggest you to read white papers personally speaking i covered just seven or eight of them i'll put the link in the description whatever i have covered but uh, it's good to have like a, some kind of like a deeper understanding what goes into the cloud and how uh, you know the things are mapped up based upon the different services another advice which i'll give it to you is to give as many mock tests as possible i personally took the mock test from viz labs and dojo so both the links are in the description and down so you can actually go there and start practicing i personally gave more than 10 mock tests and if you compare dojo and vizlab vizlab is almost at par uh, with uh, with the real exam dojo i'll still say one step ahead of the actual difficulty so if you go and prepare in the dojo uh, you'll get some kind of uh, like you know you'll be prepared for something you know if a, if a difficult question paper comes up Along with that, uh, there's, there's one app which is available in iOS. It's not in Android. I tried checking it, by, but I couldn't find it. It's AWS Associate. Uh, again, the link is in the description, so you can download it. It's, 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 a, it's not one of the finest application in the world, but the best part about it is, is uh, you can actually go through so many questions. It has got more than 1,000 questions. So you can just, you know, before sleeping, you can just scroll through it. It's good to having some kind of, you know, basic fundamental knowledge. Next step, which I'll talk about is, uh, uh, you know, you have to plan, like how are you going towards the examination? Exam, as you know, it's 65 questions it's two or 10 minutes and it's mostly scenario questions so now this is my personal experience don't quote me on this but uh, when i actually uh, appeared for the exam and when i gave the mock test most of the difficult questions are between 20 to 40 and that's where you lose your confidence and you start feeling like you know there are more than two options uh, which are you know which are actually making sense uh, from correct answer point of view so at that point of time what i'll suggest think from an architect point of view like don't think uh, as if it's like some kind of uh, uh, examination or anything just imagine you are an architect there and you've got so many tools at your disposal and everything and anything could be correct right not it's not like one size fits all so you have to use a strategy like okay if i'm having two services which are performing the similar kind of a function which is uh, effective which is uh, less costly like if, if 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 any task can be covered in 10 steps if 
the other service can do it in like in two steps so what would be more efficient two steps right so that's the kind of a mindset you have to think about Going back to the uh, AWS examination pattern, another thing which I observed is like the questions between 50 to 65 are tend to be on like you know, on, a, on a easier note. You can gain a lot of confidence with that. So when you enter the exam, just make sure that you have you keep flagging the difficult questions. And once you're completed all the questions, like you know, spare like 20 to 25 minutes to go back and work on those flagged uh, questions. Don't stay and don't get stuck on one question for more than two minutes. I know it's difficult, but try mimicking those, you know, those exercises when you're actually uh, working on, uh, you know, mock tests and everything. One last step, which I'll say, once you start studying, like you've completed a Cloud Guru course or any other course which you have taken, uh, you, once you have completed the FAQs, started giving tests, you'll start having doubts, right? So when you when you will be doing your mock test, at that point of time, you would be having a lot of doubts about certain services which might or might not be covered in 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 the course of which you might have taken. So how to go towards it? It's like it's not necessary to know each and everything but at least it's important to know what it is if you know what i mean it's like for example i don't know what aws config actually does like i don't know the commands but i know the plain vanilla information about it what i mean by that i know aws config is for audit assessment and evaluation of the configuration by any organization so if i want to deploy a, a service i'll use aws config right and it will actually monitor whether my my firm is you know abiding by the configuration rule which has been set up it's important to you know sometimes use your mind like what exactly it could mean you know instead of knowing you know the a to z about each and everything one last thing i'll say uh, before we end this video if you are an indian like me your mother tongue is, is hindi i'll suggest this one uh, very great channel with technical guftu i know it sounds funny but it's really really good like the way that guy has created uh, his channel like he has created a lot of playlist which actually points you to a certain uh, direction so the so the way he actually speaks and the way he actually you know uh, he makes it very easier for us to understand certain topics so i'll say once you've completed the basic courses of a cloud guru went through everything just 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 try exploring uh, that that particular uh, channel too uh, like if you can find it anything relevant i found it really really helpful like uh, on most of my concept about uh, cloud front and uh, i am so all these kind of courses were very nicely covered in that uh, channel so you can refer to that so now you have to strategize like uh, you know what are the services which are very very important so according to me uh, you can write it down like these are the services which are really important uh, and it would be better if you if you you know understand this part of the video once you have covered the basic courses because right now what i'm speaking it it might be alien language for you but uh, if you if you're watching this video once you have uh, you know uh, completed all your aws basic courses by a cloud guru and all uh, vpcs net cloud formation Beanstalk, DynamoDB, um, IAM, and uh, yeah, like these are the these are the particular topics where you'll get major chunk of uh, you know questions. Lambda, serverless, sorry, I forget that. So these are the uh, topics which will be you know very very uh, broadly covered in the AWS Certified Solution Architect exam. So uh, keep like you know be thorough with that and. And other topics which uh, you know which even if you don't know much just know the plain vanilla knowledge so that's the kind of suggestion uh, which I'll give it to you guys I know a lot of people have been reaching out to me uh, feel free to comment uh, if you have any questions I'll be happy to address that and uh, yeah all the best for the exam it's it's difficult I understand but you have to stay calm and you have to keep practicing I think that was the key at least for me it worked for me so it might work for you too so all the best for your exam.